Hi, my name is Andy Sykes. I'm an award-winning animator and illustrator based in the UK. Welcome to my lessons on Flash CS5. This is my website, hexjibber.com. You can check out my animation, my illustration, my interactive work, and also more of my video tutorials in Flash. Enjoy. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial on text in Flash. You can see that we've got the text tool here in the toolbar. Let's click on that. And you'll see that we get a whole load of properties up here in the properties dialog. New to CS5 is this TLF text. Previously it's what they've renamed classic text. So um, you had a choice between static text, which is ironically what you would use for animation. That's just text that you've typed into Flash. Dynamic text is text that Flash is pulling from an external source like a database. And input text is essentially a text box for users to type in information into a Flash file uh, on the internet or in an interactive project. Let's switch back to TLF text. TLF text stands for Text Layout Framework and it's the replacement for what is now called Classic Text. Up here we've got the options for uh, the different types of text for TLF text. Read only means that uh, when you publish it to an SWF, the user can only read it, they can't select it or do anything with it. So that's kind of the replacement for static text. Selectable, that means the user can copy it, paste it and do what they like with it. Editable text is text that the user can enter at runtime or edit. So let's stick it back on read only because uh, that's what we need for animation. You can see that this is the normal kind of options you'd expect to find. You've got your font family at the moment, it's on Arial, style regular, uh, it's our color, size. Let's try typing something. So I'm going to type the word text. There we go. Let's pull it up a bit. Let's try editing this text. If I slide my size up and down, you can see that it edits it in real time in CS5. Um, we can change the colour. Down here we've got options for anti-aliasing. To be honest, the difference between readability and animation, I can't really tell. If I switch it to animation, you can see that <laughs> there's not a huge amount of difference. But for different fonts there will actually be a difference. You'll just have to figure out what's best yourself. Here we've got the paragraph options, whether you want it to be centred, justified, etc. Probably to illustrate this, if I add some more text to my text box, so I can enlarge it with uh, this circle in the corner, like so. Text is fantastic, and I love it. You can see that we've got a bit too much text at the size of this box, so I'm going to go to one of the corners and expand it. So that we've got enough space for it all to fit in. So if I select this and go up to my paragraph, you can see that I can center it, I can justify it on one side and the other, I can uh, justify all lines, I can align to the start, middle, and the other side, and adjust the margins at the indent. So at the beginning of a paragraph. Here we've got options on uh, how we embed the font. In CS5, a new feature is that it will embed all uh, the characters that you've used in your text, no matter what the font is. But in previous versions of Flash, it didn't do that. You've still got a lot of control over what you do embed. You can see uh, if I click on the embed option here, I get a choice of which fonts I want to embed, whether I want to embed all of the glyphs in that font, or just the uppercase, lowercase, the numbers, the punctuation. So that's really important if you're doing something for the web, if you're doing something interactive, uh, that you make sure that if you're using a version of Flash prior to CS5 that you embed the fonts that you want people to be able to see. Otherwise what Flash will do in that SWF is it will approximate the nearest font it can find and use that. If you're making Flash for the internet, those embed options are really important. If you're making Flash for video, they're not important. A new feature that's really cool for this new type of text 
is uh, the filter options here that if you've seen my tutorial on symbol effects they're the exact same effects you can use on movie clips except uh, you can use them on text as well without making them into a movie clip so I'm going to stick some blur on my text you can see that it's already blurring there you can ramp up the blur you can change the quality and whether the horizontal and uh, vertical are mixed are locked together so that's really cool you can also use glows and other exciting things but check out my tutorial on symbol effects for more detail on those so there you go that's text in flash cs5 in the next lesson i'll show you how to start animating it i'll see you there hi if you enjoyed this lesson why not consider checking out the hexjibber coloring and activity book on my website hexjibber.com it's suitable for kids and adults alike and you can get it from Amazon, Play.com and WH Smiths. Cheers.